Awesome job there by Jim Pice, ladies and gentlemen. Now watch this turn around. Watch what he's going to do. Oh no! Just going to start it right there with a hammer and Oh, nice. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. In a big crack bonanza. I, I can't get used to seeing every time I see Jim do that. I'll just have to make something look right. About 200 knots, that's what this airplane can do, max speed. You can put 1,100 pounds in that airplane, or he's up there running his business, Mustang Aviation. Up there at Pierre, South Dakota, at the Pierre Regional Airport. You can go by and see Jim Heights. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim oh, Pines, sorry, Mike. Peter, South Dakota, and Mustang Aviation. Jim also wants to thank his friends over there at Hartzell Propeller, Sirius XM, Axel Avionics, Wayland Aerospace Technologies, Phillips 66 Aviation Products, of course, Mustang Aviation is business up there in Peter, South Dakota. Don't call it Pierre, it's Peter, South Dakota. Awesome job there by the gentleman we all know as Jim Heights from South Dakota and right here in Punta Gorda where he keeps the airplane. This, this is so cool. When Jim gets this thing down a little bit lower, I'm telling you, he turns it right back into just a smooth operator. Look at this, Jim Heights. He's going to settle it back in on the runway here like it's nothing. Tim, our air boss, our celebrity air boss, high atop the air show audio trailer. Watched Jim fly that same routine at the Reno National Air Races a few weeks ago. Gusty over 40 knots. <laughs> Jim told us, he said the briefing, he said, that was the roughest air. Well, look at him. How did we just sit that thing down as they said in the Great Waldo Pepper, like an old maid crawling into a soft feather bed. Fantastic. There he is. He's got his, got his water out there with him. Jim Pike, he'll be back in the autograph tent. Here a little bit later on today after it cools off. Now, now we have a Corsair coming. Oh my goodness, who likes the Corsair? Everybody loves the Corsair, don't they? The F4U Corsair, the Bentley Bird. Holy shit.
why we do this. And why do we do this, right? Well, we fly these airplanes to tell that story. You know, when you go into a museum or something, and when you, when you hear that lion sitting there in the museum silent, it doesn't do anything, but when you go out to the, the zoo and you hear it roar like this, it just all becomes clear. And that's what Stan Music is proud to present to you right now in the Corsair. You know, we stand on the backs and the shoulders of so many great Americans. And Stan Music knows that all too well. The commemorative Air Force who owns this aircraft. Then barrel roll to the right to get set up for that. They're an all-volunteer organization and they keep this thing flying to tell the stories of our American airmen fought and flew in World War II. Listen, if you don't know your own story, or the story of your family who fought and flew back then or defended this country right here at home, learn it on your way home today because I'm telling you folks, we're the only ones that will keep that history alive and saved. Watch now as Stan Music configures this airplane for a slow speed pass. Stan, will we actually see the tail hook come down on this one? You will. Well, I am in the process of getting the gear down the hook now. One of the cautions with this particular aircraft is you can't put the hook down with the gear up or vice versa because you'll tear up the mechanism. So if it comes down the pass leak, which is supposed to do, it will be watching it from the left. You can see the hook coming out here in just momentarily. Yeah, there it is. Coming down, you can start to make it out back there. Now here is something you won't see. Let's get a good video of this. Now I've got a positive hook indicator, which tells me that the hook is down and scheduled. And this would be as you come aboard ship. We're showing about 90 knots. Come in, get ready to flare, and he's trying to catch the three wire. Trying to get the cap. Yeah, move on. This we don't have that because we really don't want to yank this cap in the year old airplane around too hard. We'll go around and just you out of the video. Cool? Scott Farnsworth no, coming game. out here in just a few minutes. I'll tell you, it doesn't get any better than this for an air show, ladies and gentlemen. I want to remind you, if you want to find out more about the commemorative Air Force, you can find them online. That airplane is Captain huh. Heroes, who fought back the tyranny, and they saved our great nation and the world, for that matter, during World War II, and we're still happy to be able to pay tribute to them today, to all of our great veterans, those who have served, who are serving, and of course, those who will. It's now up to us to continue that tradition. Take a little flat back there, about. Those are the guards. And then we actually, uh, the leader gets to the wing bow position. That is, you can see, the wing come out. He actually did it with a hand pump. Although, I will tell you, it takes a considerable scope to put the strength of uh, the strength of 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 the so the people would have a nice and fresh of roots and you can imagine, if you have a little bit of ceiling time, you can get a whole lot more airplanes in the same thing. The motor wing comes down to a fair level, and I drive it down to a fair level, and I drive it down to a fair level, and I drive it down to a fair level, and I drive it down to a fair level, and I drive it down to a fair level, and I drive it down to a fair level, and I drive it down to a fair level, and I drive it down to a f
like to tag it with the flat huh? to avoid getting a little bit of damage into our uh, flat surfaces. But you'll notice that it takes just another minute for those uh, pins to go home. And just hit the Oh, what's that? Look out there. They said, well, what are all those tents? Why are all these people waving at me? I haven't done anything, but look, they have, ladies and gentlemen. They've made it back home. How about a round of applause for all those people there? On board that Allegiant jet, give them a wave as they come by. There they are. Oh, yeah, look at the thing. Somebody famous is on the front end of that airplane. You can't even... You can't even pick on the pilots anymore with that Allegiant jet because it's got all the auto land features on it. You know, they, every one of them is a grease job. They just come in and make it. A little free smoothie, a little sample for you. Look at this, we got another Allegiant jet. Now this guy's just showing off. Will you look at that? Look at how high up that nose wheel is. A little aerodynamic braking. Oh yeah, oh, give my that guy shot. A Actually, what we've, uh, what we've begun to do 